new Hunter the Hermit is coming to Identity 5 and we already have the first gameplay, so let's check out his skills. First of all, Reverse Polarity, which changes the electrical charge that is generated in the electromagnetic reactor that he is carrying in his weapon. This is very similar to the polarity of the magnets that the Prospector uses. His next ability is called Blessing, which gives his scepter a few different blessings, a few different abilities. One of them is, for example, that he deals 1.2 times the basic attack damage. So if you hit a survivor, that survivor will take a little bit more damage than usual. We have seen this with the Photographer who deals 1.5 times the normal basic attack damage. So that is very interesting because you are not dealing a lot more damage, but it's definitely more difficult for the survivors to properly heal up. The Hermit also can meditate. The meditation ability allows him to connect five ciphers in a circuit. And when survivors decode a cipher machine that is in that circus, only 50% of the decoding progress will go into that cipher machine. The remaining progress, 35%, will spread out to four different cipher machines and 15% will get lost in the transmission which can really slow down the game for the survivors and could potentially prevent cipher rush. And on top of that, if a survivor is decoding the cipher machine that is connected by the hermit, that survivor will get a positive charge. And this is what the hermit is all about. He wants to give a positive or a negative charge to the survivors so he can use these charges to stun the survivors and bring them down. And here's where it's getting interesting. The miracle ability allows him to launch a positively or a negatively charged lighting orb towards the survivors. So now if it is, for example, negatively charged and a survivor that is negatively charged, nothing will happen to that survivor. If there is a survivor that has no charge at all, that survivor will now be negatively charged. But if there is a survivor that is positively charged, that survivor will get sucked into the center of the orb and then will be stunned for two seconds, which allows the hunter to just make a lot of distance and hit that survivor. And last but not least, the electromagnetic globe, an absolutely fascinating ability. He can launch the electromagnetic globe over his head. Now he has an aerial view of the area and he can shoot, he can launch electromagnetic orbs towards the survivors and stun them if they are, for example, negatively charged while you're using the orb when it's positively charged. The hunter can again control if the orb that he launches up is negatively or positively charged. And here's where this is even getting crazier. With the second dawn ability, he can launch himself from the globe to the survivor that he was just stunning, stunning that survivor yet again and being able to just hit that survivor while he can't even move. And while you are in the electromagnetic globe and you hit a survivor with a positive charge that is already negatively charged, that survivor will get stunned, which is absolutely fantastic. But what if the survivors have no charge? Well, well, you can use the electromagnetic orb to shoot a positive charge at them, switch your globe to a negative charge and then shoot yourself out to these survivors to stun them right there. So you can switch the charge while you are using the globe in the air, which is absolutely crazy. This is going to be very interesting. And the Hermit can also disarm survivors, which either means that they can't decode cipher machines and probably can't interact with windows or pallets for a certain amount of time, or it will block their abilities, like, you know, throwing a magnet if you're a prospector, using a lasso if you're a cowboy, or using your perfume if you're a perfumer, or it means you can't use anything for a short amount of time. And the more survivors the Hermit disarms, the less the amount of time that you are disarmed as a survivor. All right, and that was my quick guide, my quick explanation of the skills of the new upcoming Hunter the Hermit. Very, very excited to see that hunter in the game. Leave me comments what you think about the hermit. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to leave me a fat like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the Gaming Chris Lee. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.